It's the march to the championship. Okay, let's take a look at a 215 game with Duke against Albany. Power rating on this game says that Duke should be a 25 point favorite. The line is 18. So got to be some value with the Blue Devils in this one. Albany's a, a, a 24 and 10 squad. They have 10 guys that average over 10 minutes a game, but their best win was against Washington where Duke beat just about everybody in the country. 18 and one with Ryan Kelly in the lineup. And you know that the Blue Devils won't hesitate to run it up if they get the opportunity. The value here says play Duke and lay the 18. West action from Kansas City. We've got number five, Wisconsin, against number 12, Ole Miss. Uh, we're looking at about a five and a half point spread here. That's what the South Point has. That's what our numbers say as well. Total of 129 in the game. Um, and this is a hard one to figure out here. It looks like a lot of points. You think it's going to be a low scoring game. Might want to take a look at the under with that game. Wisconsin has gone under seven of the last nine against SEC teams. And we've also seen Mississippi get, play under the total of their last four, which incidentally they won their last four games and covered as well. So very impressive spot. Mississippi's turned it around here. I think there's value with taking the points there. And also having the game go under. We'll see what happens with Wisconsin. They look like a team that if they get past this one, they might go on and win the West. We'll see what happens. An 8-9 matchup out of the East. North Carolina State takes on Temple, which should be a great basketball game. Temple, they are very strong on offense, one of the top 30 teams in efficiency. They also take care of the basketball. Number nine in turnovers lost in the country. Very, very solid and disciplined basketball team. Khalif Wyatt is one of the top guards in the country, but he's going up against Lorenzo Brown for North Carolina State, a team who's really underachieved most of the season. Their offense is outstanding as well. Watch for them to put up a lot of points in this basketball game. They love to run. I look for both teams to score at will in this one. Look for the over there. Plus the line makers, the number we look at is four and a half for NC State. This should be an easy one for them. Remember, the eight seed has been a one point favorite since 05 on average over the nine, and they've won by an average of one. Wow, what a fantastic matchup. The committee actually got one right. They made Pacific a 15 seed, and they're putting them against the Hurricanes of Miami, Florida. Why is it a great matchup? The two coaches, Bobby Thomason over at Pacific, over 500 wins in his career last season for him. Miami, Florida, they hired the kid from George Mason, Jim Laranega. He's from the Bronx, by the way, Archbishop Malloy. Another 500 wins. Now, Miami, Florida has been a little darling this year for the betters, but they haven't been for the books. The books' worst liability comes with Miami. Now, Pacific is coming in 5-2 and two against the spread the last seven. They're on fire going against a tremendous Miami team. Line makers made this game 13 and a half, even though it rates at 16. So there's really not much of a play here. Possibly small on the dog, but not for very big. Sit back and relax and watch two great coaches.